How's it going everybody? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. A little bit of a fast thoughts video today. Today we are talking about Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, which is a kart racing video game developed by Sumo Digital and published by Sega. It was released for the PS3, the Xbox 360, and the Wii U in November 2012. And shortly thereafter, it got a couple of other releases, namely for the PS Vita and the Nintendo 3DS as well. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed is the sequel to Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing and the fourth installment in the Sega All-Stars series. The game was a launch title for the Wii U in North America and Europe. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed received positive reviews from critics with many praising the character roster and major improvements from its predecessor. It received a nomination for Best Racing Game of 2012 from Game Trailers and it was nominated for a Golden Joystick Award in 2013 for Best Multiplayer Category, losing to Payday 2. Womp womp. Alright, with all that Wikipedia preamble out of the way, what are my thoughts on this game? Well, let me tell you, several years ago, I was talking to a guy on the street I think his name was Stefan, and he was telling me about this game. He was praising it, singing its praises, acting like it was the next coming of Christ. He even touted this as a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Killer. So, finally, I walked into my retro video game store today. And I was going in there looking for this game, and right when I walked in, literally right when I walked in, the Xbox 360 games were right there by the front door, and this one was sitting on the shelf. So I snatched it up. I was sort of thinking to myself, should I get this for the PS3? Because my PS3 collection is rather sparse compared to my 360 collection. But oh boy, am I glad I picked this up for the 360, let me tell you. I didn't even know it at the time but I'm pretty sure at some point I, I probably had heard about this but this game is actually backwards compatible with the Xbox one and not only that a couple of years ago this game received a patch for the Xbox Series X and Series S console and you can play this game on the modern consoles backwards compatible at 60 frames per second yes so I paid $15 for this game uh, and at my local store they had a deal on where you buy one PS3 or Xbox 360 or PS4 or Xbox one game and you get the second game half off so I got this game and I got the order 1886 for the PS4 we'll talk about that in another video but yeah, Sonic All-Stars Racing. I didn't even know it was backwards compatible. I uh, actually started installing it on the 360 and it actually gave me a notification that it was backwards compatible. So I stopped installing it on the 360 and uh, I'm like, hell yeah, 60 frames a second and installed it on the, on the Series X. It was a five gigabyte download. As you know, backwards compatible games the disc just acts as uh, an access key and then you have to download the game. So what do I think of the game and is it a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Killer? Well, to start off, I've never played Mario Kart 8. I actually had Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U, but my Wii U for whatever reason it wouldn't read the disc. So I never actually played it. Uh, I have Mario Kart on the Wii which is amazing and obviously I played Mario Kart back in the day on the SNES that's probably my, my most favorite Mario Kart game and then the one on the N64 this game here this game from what I played so far I've only played about 45 minutes to an hour it, it is better than Mario Kart absolutely for a number of reasons now, one of the reasons I think this game is so good is because it was developed by Sumo Digital. Now, Sumo Digital needs no introduction. 
if you're familiar with any of the racing games on the OG Xbox and the PS2, Sumo Digital actually did Outrun 2 and Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast, at least as far as the ports were concerned on those, on those consoles. Uh, Sumo Digital has released a number of racing games over the years. And when I play this game, it feels like a Sumo Digital game. The drifting mechanics bear some resemblance to the drifting mechanics in Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. You don't have to be a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog to enjoy this game because I'm certainly not a huge Sonic fan. There, But there is so much fan service in this game. I, I just, I couldn't believe it. One of the levels is centered around Panzer Dragoon, which of course was a Saturn game. There's another one that's based on Afterburner, and they've even got uh, Super Monkey Ball in there, and a host of other great tracks as well. I'm not being bombarded with any sort of uh, paywall or download DLC content, uh, etc. Seems like everything is included on the disc from what I can see. A lot of care and attention to detail and fan service went into this game. The level design is really cool because when you're racing, as you can see here, you, know, you start off in your cart, but the track, the, lay, the layout can quickly change directions depending on which way you go. And uh, you go from being in your cart to perhaps being in an airplane or a helicopter to being in a, in a watercraft. It's just unbelievable. The tracks have loop-de-loops, kind of like uh, the Hot Wheels games do. The only thing I would say is I would turn down uh, the voice volume because the characters are pretty annoying to listen to. The music's good in the game though, and the graphics, maybe it's just because I'm playing it on a Series X at 60 frames a second. But the graphics look really good. You can't even tell that this game is 12 years old. It looks like a modern game. It looks fantastic. Now, does it look as good as Mario Kart 8? I'd say so. I'd say so. Uh, the game was developed with the Crytek engine, which was an older engine used for a lot of those games during the 7th gen. You can kind of tell it's a Crytek game. And that, that, that's not knocking it by any means. It just has that sort of aesthetic to it. Um, you know, cer certain areas, certain menus, kind of give off like a budget release sort of vibe but when you're actually in game playing the game it doesn't really feel like a budget release and like I said the, the graphics the water physics uh, everything's coming at you I, I don't know I, I think it's really good uh, I know my buddy Stefan I remember he mentioned that the game is extremely fast compared to Mario Kart I don't know in some cases, in some areas, the game feels fast. In some areas, it doesn't, if that makes sense. You just sort of have to play it. But, yeah, it, it's really good from what I've played so far. Uh, the game is listed on speedrun.com. So I might dip my toes in the water there. But, yeah, there's not much else I can really say because, like I said, I just started playing it. But do I enjoy this more than Mario Kart? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And is this a, is this an Xbox 360 PS3 game that's being slept on at the moment? I think so. I can see this going up in price. Uh, I paid $15 for my copy, which is really nothing. But the thing is, like I said, this game never got a release on the PS4 and the Xbox. Well, technically you can get it on the Xbox Series console via the backwards compatibility, but it never really got a modern release. So, I could see over time this game sort of developing a cult following and uh, I, I could see this game going up. It's a quality release. It's a Sega published game and it's developed by Sumo Digital. You have all these licenses, these IPs within this game, all this fan service. How could you not like this game? Honest to God, it, it's, it's that good. Now, I haven't played any of the other Sonic and Sega All-Stars racing games. This is the only one that I have played. But yeah, if you're thinking about this, if you're on the fence, uh, if you've got the option, get it for the Xbox 
360 because at least then you can take advantage of the backwards compatibility and it's completely free, right? So, yeah, awesome game, really good. Uh, it makes a, a world of difference, I would imagine, to play this at 60 frames a second over 30. And yeah, very, very happy to have this in the collection. Very good recommendation from my buddy Stefan. Have any of you guys out there played Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed? What are your thought? What are your thoughts on it? Yay or nay? Uh, do you prefer Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? I can't say because I haven't played it, but I, I think if I had to choose, I would take this one here just because of the diversity. You know, being able to fly and, and watercrafts and all the rest of it. I, I do wish some of the tracks were a little bit longer. But that's just personal preference. But other than that, yeah, buttery smooth controls. Yeah, this is very addicting. I I, uh, I didn't want to put it down. I stopped playing the game so I could upload this video. But yeah, the, the other cool thing about playing it on the Xbox Series X is you can capture video. Uh, which you obviously can't do if you're playing it on the 360 or the PS3. But yeah, that's enough rambling for me. Uh, just a fast thoughts episode here. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Hidden Gem. Not getting enough love. Really good game. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this game. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.